I know from some statistics from the Ministry of Justice that the pretrial detainees are something like 32.6% of the total prison population. Uh, pretrial detention is used frequently, but of course it depends on crime uh, and uh, on the person. So if someone has not got the nationality, the Greek nationality, um, in the judge's mind, I think, and the mentality of the judicial system, he's actually at risk um, to flee the country. And the second factor, of course, is the accusation. If the accusation is a severe accusation, a grave accusation, we know that the um, most cases are um, likely to be um, have the measure of pretrial detention. A big category of defendants, for example, people apprehended uh, during demonstrations. In these cases, I was never allowed to see my client unless officially they are arrested and then the police allows a lawyer to uh, communicate with the client. I'm almost never there for the um, police interrogation. So when I go there, I am trying to find the accused. Um, usually family members call us, call the lawyer and um, inform the lawyer that, for example, my family member is in the police station. We don't know why, we don't know when the family member went to the police station um, and we don't know how long they're going to stay there. So then we start searching for our clients. The accused people, they are behind glasses and the telephones are broken, so I have to shout if you want to actually speak to your clients, and you cannot speak Greek or English, because, okay, we all know English, usually, we have to have, for example, a cellmate translate. So the quality of translation isn't that great, obviously. And also, um, they don't actually ever get their rights in their um, language of origin, which is a huge problem, or the accusation. So we don't have anything online, we cannot have access to the case file and we have to wait in order to go before a judge, ask for the case file. You have to photocopy it by yourself on the expenses of the defendant or the legal aid lawyer. And it, if it's a huge case file, it might take um, a day to be copied in order for us to actually get access after two days. Non viene notificato il fascicolo come avviene in altri paesi uh, dell'Unione Europea ma semplicemente il poliziotto che ti chiama uh, ti dice in via generale qual è uh, l'accusa per cui hai pochissimo tempo per parlare con uh, il proprio assistito se è uno straniero uh, spesso e volentieri non hai l'interprete perché l'interprete arriverà soltanto nel momento in cui si celebrerà l'udienza quindi non esiste un contatto con gli stranieri eh, per organizzare la migliore difesa avvalendosi di un interprete, questo nove volte su dieci. Nagyon fontos része a, a védői munkának a, az ügyfelek, ügyfelekkel való úgymond törődés vagy az idő ráfordítása. Néha vannak fölösleges körök vagy fölöslegesnek tűnő találkozások, minden esetre Szerintem úgy egy büntetőjárás nem működik a védő meg a terhelt között, hogyha nincs megfelelő bizalom. És ennek a, ennek a bizalomnak az elnyerése, vagy legalábbis az, hogy a terhelt legalább részben bízzon a, az ügyvédjébe, ez azt gondolom, hogy rengeteg találkozásnak és rengeteg beszélgetésnek a, az eredménye lehet csak is kizárólag, hogy tényleg tisztában legyünk mindennek. Di dare attenzione a quel momento, perché spesso sono cose che poi ti riporti dietro tutto il processo. Preferirei che i magistrati effettivamente visitassero le carceri, spesso il magistrato che dispone la misura cautelare non ha mai visto un carcere. A letartóztatási eljárás hatékonysága érdekében tréningeket szerveznék a jogalkalmazók és a joggyakorlók számára, annak érdekében, hogy megismerjék az új EU irányelveket és magába foglaló büntetőeljárási törvényt.